Hi everybody, I'd like to go over the um, conversions that you need to know for your chapter 17 test. So let's do that right now. Okay. I want to make sure that you know what C of water is. What is that? The specific heat constant. So when the problem says that you're heating water, you have to remember that the, the two C values, C of water is one calorie for every gram per, whoops, per gram per one gram that you want to heat up one degree Celsius. Okay. The other C value is in joules, 4.18, right? In four years after in high school, usually you're around 18 years old. I know I was. And that's 4.18 joules per every gram that you want to heat up one degree Celsius. When do you use that? When the problem says you want to heat water and you use your Q equation. Q equals the mass of the water times C of the water times the change in temperature, delta T. Okay? Sometimes they tell you that water is being heated up uh, a certain number of degrees Celsius. You need to pick your C value. If you want Q to be in calories, or if they give you Q in calories, you have to use this C value. If they tell you that Q is in joules, you need to use this value for C. Okay, again, one equation. There's a change in temperature, and you'll be using this equation on the test. One equation you can always solve for one unknown. Okay, let me see if I can go to another page. And here we go again. Let's continue on with conversion factors, okay? Uh, I don't know what just happened. Hold on. Okay. Can I write on this page? Yeah. Okay. So the conversion factors that you need to know, okay? I don't know why my pen is like this now, but that's okay. The conversion factors that you need to know. Am I recording? Yeah, I guess so. The conversion factors that you need to know are, well, calories, right? Calories, joules, kilojoules, the prefix K. So let's see. One wee little calorie, abbreviated C-A-L, or I could write it out, is equal to 4.18 joules. Okay. Now let's talk about the prefix kilo. A thousand, oopsie daisy, I'm not sure what mode I'm in here. Let me see. Okay, now I'm in screen sketch. Okay. All right, I don't think I got that one right, so hold on. Oh, but now it's, all right, I'll just write over it. A thousand calories is one kcal or kilocalorie. Now you know when you read the food labels it'll say it's 250 calories. You should notice that that type of calorie is a capital C and that's really 250,000 whoops thousand little calories. Okay, abbreviated C-A-L with lower case. Now, let's see. On the quiz, or I'm sorry, on the test and on the test review, you use the, this conversion factor quite a bit. One kilojoule 
is equal to a thousand joules. Okay, just like one kilometer is equal to a thousand meters. When will you use this? You'll use it as a conversion factor either this way if you're starting with kilojoules or if you're starting with joules you'll use it the other way around as a conversion factor. Okay, You'll have the kilojoules in the numerator and the joules in the denominator. It's still a thousand joules is one kilojoules. Just remember there's always one king in a kingdom. That's a conversion factor you have to use. Once you remember that one little calorie is four joules, you will probably be using it in a calculation either with cal one calorie in the numerator or 4.18 joules in the denominator. Again, this conversion factor is used when you're starting with joules. I'm always looking at the denominator. Now, if you're starting with little calories, we are going to reverse it. We'll put 4.18 joules in the numerator and little calories in the denominator. Okay, and these this is a conversion factor you need to know. One more conversion factor. It's this one, using a thousand little calories and one kilojoule. If you have a certain number of kilojoules, you use this conversion factor because it divides it out. It's in the denominator. If you, I'm going to go to this side. I haven't used this side quite a bit yet. If you, you can also use this conversion the other way around. Okay. That would be if you are starting with a certain number of calories and you want to convert to kilojoules. So this is the second part of the chapter 17 test. Again, this is conversion factors and constants that you need to know. Let's see. Okay. Conversion factors are if you're, are like are ratios and they're equivalent to one. Okay, again one little calorie is equal to 4.18 joules. So a joule is smaller, right? If it takes four to make one little calorie. By the way, one little calorie is very small. It's a very small amount of heat. It's the heat needed to raise the temperature of one gram of water one degree Celsius. One gram of water is one cubic centimeter or one cc. Whoops. Okay. All right. I'll stop there and uh, let you take in all of this information.